Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a review on the products from the Lucky Bags. So the Lucky Bags are a Japanese New Year's custom that inspired us to create our own. The Sumo Wrestlers are on this year's Lucky Bags and are said to bring good luck and fortune. We hope the surprises inside make your 2019 a little more lucky. So this is the Lucky Bag 2019 from Beautylish. And I got a couple different products. So being that I have never used these products, I just kind of wanted to give you kind of an inside scoop on them. Now, I do not have a tutorial because I forgot to hit record on the camera. No tutorial. I'll just walk you through it. Okay, so the first bit we have is the Jouer highlighter. I've always used the Jouer lip kits and really like those. So this highlighter is in the color Skinny Dip and is absolutely beautiful. It's got kind of a peachy-ish bronze and just gorgeous. Now it, it is setting up like a cupcake on my cheeks. Kapow, yeah, you're seeing a little cupcake action. So if you like to look like a cupcake or very shiny where you wanna blind people, this is definitely your highlight. I actually thought I went on a little bit light and I did try to blend it down and I'm still looking like a cupcake. So there is the next that piece, piece that um, we're gonna cover is the little Visart Petite Pro palette. It is petite, so petite they can't even put the names of the colors on the back. Visart is kind of expensive. So I'm guessing that's why this little guy is as small as it is. I did do a swatch test on my unveiling unboxing of this. So you can see that in a different video. I won't re-swatch, but I will give you the highlights from it. The mattes had a horrible time with them swatching. They were dry, patchy, etc. And I thought, oh my God, I'm not excited about using this palette. But this palette is expensive normally, so or a regular size one. So I'm kind of confused about what I'm seeing. Now, as far as these little babies down here, they're all gems. They swatched amazing. So I, I was really, really kind of confused by that whole swatch test. Now, today, I used this little baby all over the eye for a good base. I used this one and for the transition color. And then I used this one for the outer C. So I used three of the colors and I really liked it. Now what I haven't done is taken the brush that they gave and it's a nice pointed brush. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown and sweep that right on top of the eyeliner I used. Now I'm not sure what this brush is used for. It's by Ray Morris, but it was so pointed that to me it just seemed like it would be a good brush for maybe underneath the eye here to soften up. And I, like I said, I just used some eyeliner, so smudging that out with this brush is probably a good one because I'm not sure, just kind of confused about this brush because it's so fluffy here and then goes to such a sharp point. And I have a million 20 brushes, I just don't have one like this. So if you know what this is used for, for real, comment below. But in the interim, until I figure it out, I'm just gonna use this to smudge out my under eye and smoke out the under eye so that it gives kind of a, a little bit of a softer appearance. So I was, you know, kind of tickled about using it, a brush that I had never used before. Okay, I'm missing something. Here we go. So the other piece that we got was the Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. I didn't do a cut crease with a white or a light um, bit underneath. I just used my normal eye color and then took this and kind of did a full cut crease and then moved the, the vice art on the outside. The Cover Effect Shimmer Veil reminds me a lot of the Stila kind of little guys. Um, this is probably a little bit lighter coverage than what you would get from a Stila. 
but I think it's pretty nonetheless. So, I mean, as far as the color goes, I think it, it matched really well with the Vice Art palette. Next, we had the Lippy. Woo! Kind of throwing this baby around. We have the Vip, the Lippy, and it looks like it's spelled S-U-R-R-A-T-T. -T. It's really hard to read. Beautiful packaging. Kind of has like it's black but it has a little bit kind of a chrome and i think that's picking up in the camera now this is called a lip slick and lip slick it is i feel like a barbie because <laughs> this is so bright but if you can see that the lip looks very wet and i've been drinking coffee so it comes off on the coffee mug just so you know but yeah, it's really, really wet looking. I wish this would have been a little bit toned down, maybe more of a mauve color, maybe less of a Barbie-esque color. But I found this really interesting. It's winter, and so it feels good on the lips. It does feel a bit slick, and it does wipe off on your coffee mug. So yeah. You have to be aware there that after you, if you keep drinking your coffee mug, you don't want your mug to move. Otherwise, you have the the fake smile like the Joker from Batman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've all had that trouble before. Okay, you know so it. that gives you kind of the highlights of this beauty bag from or lucky bag from Beautylish. Again, I, I don't have the tutorial because I wasn't smart enough to hit the record button. But I do want to use this Vice Art again. I love the greens in this palette. I just, I'm kind of attracted to this light green along with this dark green here. So you're going to see the Petite Pro show up in a tutorial very soon. I'll probably be filming it tomorrow. Which who knows when it'll actually come out because I have stored a bunch of videos like a squirrel does nuts in winter. Mm hmm So who knows when this video will actually come out. Heck, it may be fall of 2019. Just kidding. It won't be that long. But, well, when you see it, you'll know exactly when it came out. Dear Jesus. All Mary right, y'all. So that is kind of the highlights of everything I got from my lucky bag. Not excited about the price of a lucky bag. I think, um... BoxyCharm has got me spoiled because you get full sizes in BoxyCharm, four to five full sizes for $21. So to get these bits in um, a lucky bag, and I want to say that mine was like 75. I know I got the one under $100. Um, the downsize was the price because BoxyCharm has spoiled me rotten. The other piece is that the good, piece, ooh, the good piece to the Lucky Bag is all the products that I got, I had never used before. And I may have used the brand, but not the actual product. So that would be the plus size, plus size, plus side, if you could get away from the price. So Beautylish, you have to understand, you're, you're working against a lot of beauty boxes. So to get a surprise bag that is, you know, almost four times the price of what BoxyCharm puts out, someone would rather do BoxyCharm and get four months, 20 full-size products versus five products. I, you know, it just, economically, it doesn't make sense for me to do this, um, beauty bag again it didn't wow me enough to say i want to spend my money here again but like i said plus side is that i got to use products i had never picked up before or used or had gotten in any previous subscriptions so you know that's kind of my thoughts on the beauty lish lucky bag i think it's a cute concept and i love the sumo wrestler i want to hug this sumo wrestler Okay, y'all, so that's this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, please put those below. If you've ordered a Lucky Bag, I want to hear about your experience. Did you get one this year? Is some of the products the same? I'm just kind of curious. All right, y'all, I hope you have a great day and make it a great one.
Until next time.